Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is on cardiac telemetry camp, cardiac lecture number 44, ECG, EKG uh, telemetry breakdown, and EKG electrocardiogram, a 12 lead interpretation. It can be found on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy, and NursingCamp.com and follow me on social media. All right, let's move on. I'm covering this sticky note here. And this sticky note is, um, I covered a little bit in my previous lecture where we were talking about um, why do you do a 12 lead EKG? Well, the first thing is, is generally if there's chest pain. So if you have chest pain, um, you do a 12 lead. So chest pain, you do a 12 lead and also for baseline um, to see that, you know, what does the heart look like now? And when we're looking at the heart, we're trying to see whether or not there's a problem or not. So for baseline and chest pain. Also, a patient might be on telemetry. And if they're on telemetry, um, and we are monitoring them in lead two. And we talked about this when we were talking about um, a 12 lead. So when you get to a 12 lead, uh, the principle is, is that you're trying to really look at the heart in the structure of the heart. So the structure of the heart, you have your ventricle. So this is your left ventricle. And when we're looking at lead two, you know, we said that we were looking at this part of the heart, this left ventricle, this section. But we said that that was section was also broken down into different parts, and that's a 12 lead, okay? So when we're looking at a 12 lead, um, what you'll have is this, and sometimes you'll even see another box down here, you'll see another six. This is called your monitoring lead. Okay, so so sometimes you'll see 16 boxes, but this one down here is just usually like uh, lead two. That's your monitoring lead, okay? Now, because we have telemetry, the first section here is telemetry. So we know that there's three sections, one, two, and three. Remember we said that in lead in telemetry, we are monitoring in these three leads. And what we're monitoring is the heart in this left ventricle. Oh, that looks like a banana. And that's lead two. We said lead one is up here and lead three is down here. Okay. Now what does that mean? That's location. And that's what we're going to focus on with this telemetry. So, um, and what I kind of, I'm just going to run through the way I learned it and the way I figure it out. So let's go through it. So we have some symbols to know. All right. So this is a coffee cup and that's called lateral, a latte, a latte coffee cup. So that would be called a lateral lead. Okay. The next thing is I, inferior, or I like to call an igloo. Um, so igloo for I, and it's spelled with an I, um, but it's also an inferior lead. And what do I mean by that? Well, lateral means lateral side, lateral side of the ventricle. Inferior means inferior, below lateral. So it's inferior lateral, okay? Another symbol we need to know is ant. An ant, it would be anterior. And then um, another symbol we'll need to know is these leaves. So I think of leaves in September. Okay, so that would be September, and that would be septal. Okay, so we have lateral coffee, right? Lateral latte. We have igloos for inferior. We have ants for anterior, and then we have leaves for um, a septum it's for September. So let's get into it. So um, I always think first thing in the morning, you know, I like a cup of coffee. So uh, that's lateral. So you put a coffee cup there, and that will be your lateral lead. So lead one is a lateral lead. Because I like coffee in the winter time, um, I put an igloo here, and that's an inferior lead, okay? 
Um, because it's a real cold winter, I put another igloo down here. So we have another inferior lead. So what does this mean? So, you know, leads one is a lateral lead. Lead two is an inferior lead. And lead three is an inferior lead. All right, so that's perfect. So that is telemetry. And we said that with ECGs, right? So telemetry, walking telemetry, remember the leads. When we're looking at the leads, lateral lead, inferior, inferior. So what does this truly mean? Why do we need to know that? Well, the principle is this. If somebody has an inferior wall MI, you're not going to see it in lead one. You're going to see it in lead two. So if they're inferior wall MI, you'll see ST elevations in lead two. Or ST depressions in lead two. Okay. If it is a lateral wall MI, you'll see it in lead one for telemetry. Okay. And that's the language. So that's kind of what we're talking about when we're talking about ECG. And this is a 12 lead EKG. So the principle is this, guys, is when you're thinking about a 12 lead EKG, we, we need to know some basics about this. There's some specific positioning for this um, 12 lead. And what we're looking at is that 12 lead is that there's three leads that we monitor in telemetry. Lead one, lead two, lead three. And primarily we monitor in lead two. So when we're looking at lead two, we're looking at the ventricle. Okay. And what happens is, is in this ventricle, it has sections broken up into it. Okay. So the general picture is lead two. Then we have on the lateral wall, we have some more spaces. That would be lead one. And then lead three is on the posterior. Okay. So ECG, so some recap, ECG is monitoring these general pictures. One, two, and three. We want to put it on the uh, lead two because we want the inferior wall of that ventricle. And we want to monitor that because that in that wall, you're going to see um, ST elevations. And the ECG should look normal. And so if you see an MI, which is most likely, it'll happen in lead two. All right, we're going to get more into this into the next lecture. But that's the basic principle. So 12 lead is a, is a true, clear picture. We're going to break down these four, these other areas of this 12 lead EKG. But right now, the ECG, we can see it. But say we have a ST elevation in the, in the uh, second lead. Um, well, now we want to clear a clearer picture. We really want to see what, what part of that lead is the, is the uh, problem. And where exactly is the damage being caused in the ventricle? And that is a 12 lead. And that's why we do it. We do it to see a clearer picture of what's going on. All right, my name is Camp and this is Nursing Camp. In the next part of lecture, we're going to break down these other areas and look at a 12 lead interpretation. All right, that's it. Nurse on, and we'll talk to you next time.